Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up supply lines in Fallout 4. So what supply lines basically do is they allow you to share your um, your resources, for example your copper, your steel, your cement, that kind of stuff between your settlements. And first of all, the first thing that you're going to want to do is put about six points into Charisma so that you can get the local leader perk. I think you only need level one, but I've got level two just to be safe and so I can build stores and workstations and stuff like that. Then you're going to want to come out of this. Oh, I didn't even know you can zoom in. Um, you're going to want to hold down the middle button so you can open up your workshop. And then you're going to want to press R1 on a settler. It needs to be a settler and not a named settler. So none of your companions or anything like that. Because you cannot do that with them. You're going to want to press R1 on them. Um, this guy's name is Provisioner and he's got that big uh, Brahmin because he's already been made um, a supply guy. So where am I going to send him? I think... I can't even send him anywhere else because he's already got a place that he needs to go. So I'm just going to send him to a random place. Wrong. And I'm going to press R1 on him again and send him to the red rocket truck stop. And now he has become a provisioner and he will go and do his job. Um, let me just show you how that works on other people so you can see how their name just changes from settler to provisioner. So you know which guys are the guys that are actually on your supply line and stuff like that. Are you a settler? Yeah, you are. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. Let me send you to Abernathy Farm because I think that's the closest one. There you go, and now you've changed your job. You're not going to be working on this corn anymore, which is good for you, kind of crap for us. But now, after you do that, wow, I just realized, press the middle button and you can zoom in on your pit boy. That's another tip. Um, what you can do after that is you can actually go to your map and press L1 to show your supply line so you can see which settlements are actually linked up. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to wink, want to link up the nearest ones and then outsource from there. So you're going to want to like eventually link everything up. But obviously start off with the nearest one so it's not such a long travel and you guys don't get like murdered on their way to the settlements. I don't know if that's a possibility but I'd rather keep that possibility down <laughs> than send them you know super far away. So yeah this is how you share your resources between your different settlements and that's how you set up supply lines i hope this video helped you out please give me a like and subscribe if that did um also if you want to help out the channel a little bit more you can become a patron using the link in the description below you can also check out all my social links in the description below please follow me on twitter because i post uh, my videos and when i'm going to stream always on twitter when i actually do that so if you want to like be in the know for that sort of stuff you might want to follow me on twitter the link is in the description below also please leave any comments of any tips and tricks that you know of or any tips and tricks that you want to learn about in the comment section below and i'll be sure to make a video about that and yeah if you want to check out any more of my fallout 4 videos you can use the fallout 4 playlist uh, and that will be on the top right hand corner of the screen and you can check out my latest music video in the description below and let me know what you think of that so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video